Okay. This is the Hobby King uh, Assault 450 helicopter. Uh, I also purchased the orange 6 channel receiver to go with my DXXI. I followed all the instructions that came with the manual, plugged everything into the receiver. I put my um, Dean style connectors onto my battery, which has never been a problem before, so I'm sure that's not what's causing it. And I'm about to show you what happens if I can plug this uh, battery up. Sorry for the poor uh, camera work, but I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, and get the battery plugged up. All right, as you can see right now, the receiver's in bind mode. I bound the receiver about six times. That's why it's blinking all fast, but I'll go ahead and bind it again. Hold on. Turn the button, turn it on, in bind mode. Receiver's blinking slow. It's about to bind, and it has. Now, the reason it goes to bind mode every time is you have to typically ground two spots on the receiver to cause to to, uh, to bind. But as you can see, it's acting pretty stupid. Like when this light's blue, according to the manual, this thing should be ready to use. I found that one of these servos that came with it, which is the one on this side, is actually broken. And I, fi I figured it was actually ground out to the servo by me unplugging all these wires and these leads. I found when I unplugged that one, it acted fairly decently. So when I moved my swatch and everything, as you can see, two of the servos move like they're supposed to, put on the throttle hole. And as you can see, this servo here doesn't move at all. So for the it should be moving with the elevator to go up, and it's not. The reason being that this servo, after I emailed Hobby King specifically and told him I asked him if the helicopter wouldn't come with the metal servos to refund the money because that was a problem with these helicopters from the first few people that got them. Anyway, almost $80 later in shipping in two weeks to come from China. And this is what I get. The servos bound up. It doesn't work. It's just locked into place. And earlier, I mean, I don't know why it's not doing it right now, but earlier there was no tension on this servo at all. It was just... It made a couple of clicking noises and it just did its own thing. So this servo, I'm almost 100% is just, is shot. So I have to unplug these to figure out which one it is and plug in a new servo to show you that if I plug in a new servo or another servo that it does work. The problem for me is that I do have one extra park servo, but the park servo that I do have I don't see it laying around here, but the lead is too short. <clears throat> the way this is designed, if you look at the top of the helicopter, it actually comes out the top, goes down the bottom, crumbs, uh, goes across, comes back up, and it's a fly bar unit. The servo I have, which is a park zone servo, the lead will actually go down and go about to here. There's no way I can plug into the fly barless unit where it's mounted. So I bought, I spent about $307 getting this thing shipped from China to my door today after waiting two weeks to receive it after I was told it would have metal gears and I have a shot servo so not a helicopter cannot fly so I either have two options uh, contact Hobby King which I will and tell them about it and send them the emails showing me and telling me that for sure this helicopter will come with metal gear servos which I can tell by the clicking earlier that it didn't Two, I can spend my own personal money, go to a hobby shop in town, and put more money into this helicopter to get servos that will actually work so I can actually fly this thing and have to wait for Hobby King to take two years to send me another servo after they process my claim from China, wherever they're going to send me servos from. The other people that have the 450s are getting servo replacements if you order it before a certain day. That's why I contacted them. But those people are getting servos from China. So they would get their helicopters in the mail all nice and shiny and pretty, like this one, and you couldn't fly for another two to three weeks waiting for Hobby King to process the defective part and send you new servos. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. You wait two weeks, you spend money, granted it was a cheap heli, and this is what I received, you know, uh... This is crap to say the least. So, uh, I'll post another video soon and let you know what happens. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, this 
helicopter is just junk right now. Thanks.